So today I'm going to talk about a new API which was introduced very recently known as React Hooks. So uh, two months uh, before in October actually React conference, Dan Abramov who's the main maintainer of React introduced the API called React Hooks and Twitter really went berserk after this announcement. A lot of people found a lot of advantages in uh, React, but a lot of us didn't really understand what it does, why it does, and how it is so advantageous. So many of us, okay, I'll start with the, I'll dive into the, what exactly, why uh, React hooks are so uh, advantageous. These are the main, uh, main uh, points that that make react so, hook so awesome i'll start off with the simple stuff that's less of boilerplate code if you actually see the uh, there are two ways to uh, write components in uh, react the older way is uh, using a class as you can see there is a lot of boilerplate you have to uh, extend from a class as well as you, are, you need to uh, bind event listeners and a lot of it. On the right hand side, somehow uh, the, the, this is the React functional component using React hooks. I don't know why it's not clear. As you can see, there's uh, definitely less number of lines of code and uh, there's no this. This is a, actually a dreaded concept in uh, JavaScript classes especially because it doesn't really work like in other uh, languages. So, moving on to another benefit of React hooks that is separation of concerns. So, this is a This actually is a class component. And on the right hand side, you see the corresponding uh, functional component using React hooks. The blacked out code is actually the waste boilerplate code, which gets repeated uh, for no reason. And the color coordination means how, how things are scoped in the sense how similar how similar uh, concerns are uh, scoped together. I can't really see. So the yellow part is actually all the code related to uh, theme management. The blue part is actually related to state management and the rest. So you can see the separation of concern is clearly way better using React hooks. So uh, the reason why React became so popular was the ability to reuse code. So basically in React, you, you have three ways to reuse code. The first one is reusing a simple UI presentational component. Second one is you try to fit together, uh, abstract out any common component which, has, which, can be, which can have similar behavior, which can be used in multiple components. And due to React hooks, what you can do is you can extract out the behavioral, not just presentational, behavioral uh, common code like this. So here use counter is a React hook which, which does nothing but just increments, decrements and resets the state. So instead of being tightly coupled to a class, you have abstracted out this common code into a separate function which can be easily exported and used in other components. So any other component which needs uh, such a functionality can simply import it and use it in their component. And uh, last but uh, it's, it's just a functional way to write components and functional like uh, has many advantages. Uh, some of these are you get, get better testing, easy testing, easier to read and reason, 
and uh, also you can refactor the code easily. Some of the popular examples of uh, React hooks are use state, used for it's a hook for state management. Use effect is a hook which you can use to uh, used to have side effects to your component in a separate component uh, in a separate function by side effects i mean you could have a api call for fetching data or any sort of dom manipulation or uh, fetching and uh, writing data into local storage use context is another uh, api of react which gives you easy data sharing uh, among among components at different tree levels and use memo is just a, a hook which you can use to memoize your function. So if you have anything with heavy uh, calculations, it it really uh, increases the increases the performance of the app. And these are just a few new ones. Uh, there are a lot of other uh, hooks in development. So in future, it's very easy. You'll find hook for everything, a hook to import a emotion theme, a hook to import a uh, reducer function. Basically everything, every state logic would be abstracted in a hook and that's, that's uh, the latest functional way of writing components. Thank you. I hope something was there for you guys to understand. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you can call a hook from another hook. That is exactly uh, what you are asking. That that solves that use case. But overall, the main purpose of hook is uh, like you can't really see the code very clearly here. But everything, every uh, every event listener or any sort of state manipulation function is very tightly coupled to the class. That was the main problem that hook, the hooks is trying to solve. Instead of such a code, you have a separate function which manage. And 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 this is I'm only talking about state related uh, code. So whatever was presentational was anyway reusable, but it used to be a big problem when you had state manipulation and you tried to, you just could not reuse it because it was so tightly coupled to the component. So that, that was the main purpose. Okay. Cool. Thank you.